Okay, so LSD you know, was initially available to psychiatrists and medical researchers in you know, 1940 from its discovery um, to about 1962, in the 1940s to 1962. Um, and from 1951 to 1962, your book reports that there were over a thousand research papers actually produced um, about this drug. Um, it was popular both in Europe and the United States. In, in Europe, they used what's known as psycholytic therapy. Um, LSD was actually administered to patients who were undergoing psychotherapy, um, and the, the point, they claim, was to release repressed memories, although really the effect was to have them hallucinate. Um, in the United States, they used a slightly different approach. It was called psychedelic therapy. So LSD was actually um, given to people in rather large doses to sort of provoke what they referred to as a spiritual shock to the system, right? And it was certainly a shock. Um, there's, of course, a famous tale of, you know, the, in the 1950s, the, uh, in the United States, the, uh, the CIA um, actually um, engaged in this program that's known as MKUltra, where they um, uh, secretly administered LSD to actual to U.S. citizens uh, without their knowledge um, to observe behavioral effects because they were interested in exploring the use of this drug um, as some sort of a wartime, um, you know, mind control and even a, a drug or even a battlefield weapon. Um, and apparently, um, according to a documentary um, that was produced by Lee and Shalin in 1992, um, there's, uh, there were efforts to administer LSD to Castro in Cuba and Egyptian President Gamal uh, Abdel Nasser, and they were targeted for LSD attacks by your government. 